Welcome to the Gibbscam 5-Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you a menu called Transform Ops. Now what Transform Ops will do is it'll take any operation over here on the operation side and it will duplicate it either in a linear pattern or a rotational pattern. You can see I have four operations here to do this pocket here, another four operations to do this pocket here, the triangle pocket. If we cut part render, you see we're going to drill, we're going to do some roughing, and a chamfer. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this along the x-axis, and here I want to duplicate this in a rotational axis. So I'm going to bring up my plugin menu, go down to where it says Transform Ops. You can see it brings up this menu here. Now you can translate any operation, whether it's drilling, contour, rough, any operation here you'd like to duplicate. You can translate or you can rotate. You can do it in the plane that you're in uh, or create another plane and do it, in, do it in that plane. You can also transform in this uh, coordinate system or you can create a new coordinate system so each instant will have its own coordinate system. Most of the time I like to stay in the same coordinate system here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the first operation Hold the shift key down, select this last operation for this pocket up here. I'm going to translate it four inches in the horizontal or the x-axis, and I want to do it three more times. So do this and click on do it. And it's going to take a second to, to do that, and you can see it's duplicating the uh, operations over here on the right-hand side. And in a few seconds, you have now your three other instances of the same thing. Now I'm going to go to the very end, which is doing the uh, triangle. You can see this is the triangle one it's doing. Hold down the shift key, select the very last operation. This time I'm going to do rotate. I'm going to rotate around x0, y0. I'm going to rotate in a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to do it seven more times. I will create eight instances total. And click on do it. And you can see over here it's thinking about uh, the processes and the operations and it's duplicating them. And in a few seconds you'll see the duplication here. And now we have those operations done. So if I cut part render, let me rewind it from the beginning, click on play. Speed it up a little bit here. Now as you can see we're changing tools four times on each instant here, which we want to make this a little more efficient. So I'm going to turn off render. I'm going to click this button that says sort ops. So by doing that you can see how it reordered my operations here. Let's rewind it. Now our toolpath will be much more efficient. You can see we're doing each instance with the same tool before we change to the next tool. And that's Transform Ops. Like I say, you can transform any operation that you create over here. And they are all associative with, with each other, so if you Click on one, it'll associate all the instances with that particular operation. You can also mirror horizontally or mirror vertically. So either way, you can do that. So very efficient to uh, duplicate and translate very quickly or rotate, whatever you like to do with surfacing or anything else. Thanks for watching the Gibbscam 5-Minute Demo.